Well, next up, <laughs> it's my pleasure to introduce the president of Icarus Interstellar, Andreas Siolis, who is really the person who's balanced out this the whole Congress for us for the last six months. Like I, I, uh, people throw credit my way all the time and every day, and it is my pleasure to say that there's not a way possible that I would ever have been able to pull any of this off without, without Andre Siolis. Hopefully you can say the same. And, uh, and, and uh, I also want to share with you that Andreas has been working on his presentation nonstop for I think six months and he's coming to a close right now yeah. as we speak. Yes, it's, it's that good. So he's changing batteries out in the, one of the electronics that we have here. I appreciate everyone sticking with us today. That's amazing. Uh, you, you are a phenomenal interstellar audience. That's, that's definitely the case. How about giving yourselves a hand? Just a little bit. Yay, us. And tomorrow, uh, give everybody a heads up, I'm going to be at realtimenazi.com and uh, make sure that we stick to the schedules and, and, uh, and, and keep it to a, a, the right on time thing because people have got flights to catch and things like that. And um, if anyone is heading to San Francisco tomorrow night, I know someone who needs a ride. That would be great, one of the scientists here. So if that's the case, just if you're headed to San Francisco tomorrow night, let me know. I'd like to connect you with someone. See, the reason he's spending so much time on the battery is to make sure it gets right, because of all the talks that have to be recorded, we have to get the presidents. Oh, and by the way, has everybody got a chance to check in with the official mascot of the uh, Star Trek Congress, L the puppy? Holy smokes. I mean, I've never been at a, a conference with, a, with, a, with an animal, and what a difference it has made. Like, I just sometimes check in with the dog, and I come back, like, suddenly I'm a better human. Kind of, like, to your point, Nathan. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I've done that yeah, yeah. Should I start telling jokes on this? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Really? I got one. Um, what's this? It's a butterfly with hiccups. Oh, my people. I, I, I got one. I, I, got, I, I, got, I said, uh, why don't cannibals eat clowns? Because they taste funny. Isn't that? Okay, okay, right. But why don't vampires eat clowns? Because they taste funny. Scary. It's like the one is kind of, and then the other one's kind of scary. What, oh, what's what? What is this? It's a spider doing push-ups on a mirror. Right. Of course it is. I didn't know you really wanted the answer because we all knew that. <laughs> what? What did the sea say to the shore? Nothing. She just waved. Just waved. Did you? Okay, go ahead, Phil. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the tofu cross the road? Why did the tofu cross the road? To prove it was a chicken. That's a very California joke. Yeah. Oh, a small applause over here. That was pretty good. Who else? Yeah, I love these kind of jokes. You got one? Yeah. Alan. How are, how, how are a plum and a chicken alike? How are a plum and a chicken alike? How are, how are a plum and a rabbit alike? How are a plum and a What is it now? How are a plum and a rabbit alike? How are a plum and a rabbit alike? Joke or a physicist joke? Yes. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. This thing's still on. 
See, the thing is, I get to work with young students all the time, so they train me in, uh, in the way of, the, of these little bits of humor. He's got one. Oh, you have it? I got one. <coughs> it's, this is sort of a Virginia joke, so many Californians wouldn't know, but why did the chicken cross the road? To show a possum it could be done. <laughs> Roadkill. Whoa. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> we have better train of possums out here. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Regionalism.com. <laughs> I wouldn't have started. A lot of possums are very common. Yeah. That's good. Jeez. Dr. Seolos. <laughs> so, all those jokes. I've been recorded for posterity. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we're gonna release, that'll be the first thing yeah, you yeah. see. That'll be the first thing you see. The Igor's Center still a comedy day? Are you ready? Wasn't it all a comedy? Big cosmic. It was just a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. So, uh, are you ready? Is your, is your, uh, oh, Agruna. Yeah, of course. All right.